Hello, beautiful Capricorns. This is your March Zodiac reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon. Whoops, sorry about that. Sun, Moon, and my drum fell. Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, and your North Node. Please make sure these are um, so these are general. So take what resonates. And if you are new, welcome. We're just going to jump right into this, guys. And at the end of the reading, we're going to be doing um, a pick a card. So you can ask three questions if you want. They're going to be yes or no. Or you can uh, just pick and uh, choose one of the cards. So make sure you stay right to the end for that. All right. What is going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and <coughs> North Node, please? Thank you for love. What is coming for Capricorn? in love thank you what is going on in the mind space spirit mind heart actions space and outcome looks like fate's got you there capricorn wow coming really into divine feminine energy here where you have felt orphan this is really beautiful um, fate is acting on your behalf in your heart you have a leg up in your heart okay and spirit is asking you to come to the edge in your mind so capricorn spirit is really asking you to have faith here in whatever situation that you are inquiring about the person in your love life or if you're single whatever that may look like but spirit is asking you to take a chance to take a risk to open yourself up to trust whatever's happening you may not know what's happening right now but your heart has been healed and purified you have a leg up in the situation so spirit is really wanting to make that clear here and to show you that what's happening right now is the fates the fates are working in your favor spirit has it it is all in divine timing um it's all of the gods okay and here we have you know, your outcome is that you're coming into a real divine feminine energy uh, where you've been abandoning yourself before. This is really coming into a place of empowerment, Capricorn, owning your power. Beautiful. Let's take a look and see what else is coming up for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you, Spirit. So this is going to be a regular back on the channel. <laughs> I'm feeling much more... Um, collaborated with myself to be able to put this energy back out okay this tarot deck i'm using is mine it's not for sale yet um so let's see here what's going on capricorn we have the knight of wands clarified by the hermit the king of wands in reverse the knight of wands is in reverse by the way hermit in reverse uh the leg up is uh, king of wands in reverse with the three of wands six of pentacles clarified by the nine of swords in reverse the nine of wands with the four of swords in reverse okay so capricorn what i'm saying here is spirit is really wanting to for you in your mind space to wake up now it's it it's not to act too passionately but it's to actually just come out <laughs> into the new world come to the edge you're not jumping out of a plane anytime soon even though this may look like it i'm sorry if the sun is shining in uh say hello to spirit <laughs> um my drapes are broken so i can't close those um yeah spirit is really asking you to come to the edge you don't have to do any jumping or actioning anything right now it's just coming out of your cave again we have the knight of wands in reverse this masculine energy is not actioning anything in the heart space they're waiting for you to leg up and to move into a higher place within your heart you may have also been waiting within yourself before you can come out what i'm getting here uh capricorn is that there's like a a breaking another coming to an edge very much as here is like coming to an edge or when you would come out of a cave you know um you would come out and see the light right out of the darkness of the cave and so there's a lot of passion and fire that's happening here so a lot of action spirit is asking you to action things right now and to you know you're waiting but you're also not actioning the waiting and so this is why you have a leg up in the situation to action whatever you're getting drawn to do spirit is saying here in your situation capricorn fates have your has your love life in its hold okay uh you can end the pain and the mental conflict and start giving to your path give to yourself because you're coming into a fine balance here of a brand new spiritual path is opening up for you you're coming out of separation is what i'm seeing you're coming out of a place of healing some real deep abandonment issues here okay so let's take a deeper look Let's see what you're coming out of Capricorn in March in regards to love and, and really asking to open up the mind and the heart space at the same time. 
So we have here, wow, King of Pentacles. Welcome home, Daddy. <laughs> Is Daddy coming home to you? Let's see. We got the King of Pentacles here. Really, you know, that could be you, Capricorn, in your masculine energy. But I'm really feeling this is creating the firm foundation for the masculine energy to come forward. So spirit is beckoning what I'm feeling you and your person. Where things have failed in the past, spirit is asking you to let that go now um, and to move into a brand new, just come to the edge, just open the mind a little bit is what spirit is saying. You've already been betrayed. And now the Ten of Swords, you know, people think is a really bad card, but it's a very an enlightening card because the once you've hit the bottom there, once you've been betrayed, there's you've already failed. There's nowhere else to go. So what this King of Pentacles spirit is saying, it's already you've already gone to the worst <laughs> that you possibly could. They want you to open up a little bit more here, okay, in, in regards to love. I do see a masculine. Um, thinking as much as uh, about you. Look at this. The emperor is in the heart space. So this person is not coming forward. I'm not seeing. They're waiting to action this. Um, but the spirit wants you to have a leg up. You have the leg up here in the situation. So just keep your, your heart open. You have healed and purified when this emperor is coming forward. Wow. Manifestation. We have... I mean, the emperor and the magician. Masculine energy is manifesting a connection in the heart. You may be feeling that. Yeah, very illuminated energy here. You may be feeling that illumination, Capricorn. So you know that you're going back and forth. You're going between your mind and your heart here is what I'm seeing, Caps. You're like, is this real? Is this my imagination? Am I feeling this? Is this real? But I'm really getting the sense here that you're being woken up to come to the edge and to open and to uh, and to keep surrendering with what you're doing, but also to realize that um, it's safe for you to open now. Okay, it's safe for this. Spirit wants to give you something. Your pain cycle is ending here. Wow, look at this. We have a pair. We have the queen. This is a divine counterpart here coming up, Capricorn. Okay, so we have the queen and king of pentacles. Spirit is saying they want to give this new love here. Okay, this ace of cups here to Capricorn. All right, you're going to stop fighting the apathy here. Stop fighting the apathy of the old vibration that you've been in for. I feel like perhaps you've been going through it for a little bit here. But fate and spirit is bringing something for you to end your entrapment, to end this like regret of what you feel may have been happening here. But fate has fate has this right now. So, yeah, it's ending. Um, any types of friendships or connections that are ending, you may be seeing this. And this usually happens sometimes before a reunion happens. A lot of endings happen. Uh, the last end of a betrayal may happen before something really good comes forward. So just keep that in mind because I see celebratory things of friendships ending. And you may be wondering, you know, what's going on in spirits? Like, no, I'm asked actually clearing things up asking you to come to the edge you've got a leg up here spirit is guiding this right now it's taking you on a brand new path it's also ending separation here it's coming out of a healing place we have queen of cups so this is coming into a real divine feminine energy look at this you've been you're single here but a new honest beginning um with healing with your what's destined wishes fulfilled and a new passion of, wow passion and truth Okay, this is beautiful. Ending of a separation. You are um, owning your secret garden. You're owning your femininity. You are self-loving. You are abundant. You're looking good here, Cap. So this is really, really beautiful um, what I'm seeing coming for you in March. There's more stability, more grounded energy. This Ten of Wands that you've been dealing with, a, a, a Knight of uh, Cups that you've been maybe hung about, a, a commitment and moving forward to something here, strength. Um, burdens are ending, ending right now. So you're right at the end of a cycle. So if you've recently had some massive endings of friendships or things aren't going right, Spirit is saying this is to just show you how really done you are with the old vibration because the new vibration is here. So let's take a look at this. Let's go a little deeper. Capricorn, beautiful reading for March. Let's take a look. What is going on for Cap, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? All right. This come to the edge spirit. What is going on here for Capricorn with come to the edge? In love for March. You got to give us something. Thank you. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So we have a nine here. We have a seven. We have an eight. And we have a two. If that rings any truth to anybody. Um, let's take a look at a leg up, please, spirit. Heart space. Main feminine. I thought there was another one coming. Okay. So child. All right. 
So you've done the healing of your inner child work. We have Journey here as well. Let's see the Fates for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I thought there was just one. Wow. You have a high honor. Spirit in the Fate is looking at you at a very high honor, Capricorn. Um, despair. Yeah, you've been in despair. I thought there's one more here. Concern. Okay. You may have some concern and despair about... Let's get one more. Wow. I think this is your divine masculine here. We have a mature man and a concerned man and despair as you are leaving abandonment energy and moving into real divine feminine energy. Okay, so here's what I'm getting, Caps. You're on a brand new journey here. There's a new grounding um, uh, energy that's coming in. And so Spirit's asking you to come to the edge on this new journey here. And um, what's happening in the heart space is like you've healed this inner child, okay? You've been either healing with your own children or your inner child within yourself. Either way, you're healing the childlike innocence within you. And this is what's giving you the leg up and the purity of your energy in calling in your person for in love. This person will be magnetically drawn to you. That's really what I'm feeling because what I'm getting here too in March is like fates, gods are holding you in a very high honor. You've been doing your work. You've been really um, pushing through and spirit is saying, um, this mature man, uh, your person is in massive despair and concern as you're leaving orphaned, lack, poverty, consciousness, and moving into your true abundance. It's affecting the person that you are thinking of in March. If you're single, it's affecting the, your next relationship who you are uh, aligned to based on the work that you've currently done. All right, let's take a look here and we'll go a little deeper. All right, what's going on with Capricorn here with Journey? Spirit is really saying, yeah, you're healing. Um, this could be a twin connection, but you're healing. You're healing um, <laughs> by coming to the edge and opening and doing this work. You're healing the runner. <laughs> the runner is running, but you're healing. And, and because really the runner and the chaser are both the same. If you're running, you're chasing. It's both the same thing. It's just, it's just perspective. It's like half... The cup, cup is half full or half empty. But this is healing this twin flame dynamic by you coming to the edge. Your leg up is that, you know, even though you've been stabbed in the back, Capricorn, this passion by malicious people here, you are healing that inner child still. And that's what you have. And again, so we're going to look at karmic energies next. But this is, you know, your, your passion. And even though you've been stabbed in the back by people that have been narcissistic or not nice to you, you still have a leg up because you continue to heal that inner child. You have a very pure spirit here. We have the fates that are happening. Whoa unconditional love really wanted to come out is coming for you there's a lot of clarity and truth coming forward here with unconditional love unconditional kisses and unconditional love spirit is saying we got this we're holding you in high honor beautiful capricorn so really um high energy is coming forward now your person is definitely coming through in this reading and feeling orphaned um, because you've made a healthy choice here to move away from maybe a soulmate or into a higher level of commitment with self. But this person, what I'm getting is feeling your transition, okay, and is seeing you. I'm feeling this person in this last column as the outcome. Spirit has got a hold of this, is looking at you that you hold the key to their heart and they're making a healthy choice about a soulmate right now because they're feeling this massive transition. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at the karmic energies for Capricorn. That's pretty intense, Caps. That's pretty intense. Um, yeah, very intense energies here that I'm feeling. Definitely a twin flame type of connection, higher level. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's see what is going on with karmic energies, and then we'll do the pick a card. What's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and... In the North Node. Thank you, Sarah Capricorn. Just want to see how much is left on the timer. I'm trying to keep these as, uh, oh yeah, we're perfect. I'm trying to keep these as, um, you know, timed as possible. Because I find I could probably read for an hour, but I just ain't got 12 hours, you guys, to do 12 hours. I really don't. So I'm trying to keep them to 20 to 30 minutes. All right, what is going for Capricorn, please, in the karmic situation, please? Karmic, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. We have no place like home. So I feel like Capricorns are not even letting karmic energies bother you. I feel you're really at a really beautiful space of holding your truth. What's this going on in March? What's going on for Capricorn? Karmic energies. Dealing with karmic energies in the mind. 
heart actions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's almost like you're taking a nap in the karmic air. Like, I ain't got time for this karmic shit. Um, you're being fair in your heart to karmic energies. You have a deep knowing of what's happening anyways. So I, 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 that's what I was feeling. So you just are really standing. You, you know it's being cleaned up. I feel, Caps, that you have really completely surrendered um, a certain situation and you're really moving into your own. So this karmic energy, you're like, I'm just leaving it up to spirit. To be honest, that's really what I'm feeling. It's like, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to be unfair in my heart. I have justice. I know karmic justice is mine. <coughs> I know the universe is going to do what it needs to do. I'm sorry if the sun shines in and puts a glare down on the on the table, guys. That's just spirit moving up. There's, you have a deep knowing, uh, Capricorn, of what's happening anyways. There's an owl here that's bridging, you know, kind of like sitting on Earth and the moon is kind of what I'm seeing. It's like planet to planet and being that bridge. And you know that things are being cleaned up for, for your highest good. So let's take a look here. What's going on with Capricorn karmic energies? We have six of swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck I take first. We have the eight of wands, the judgment, the knight of pentacles in reverse. We have top of the deck seven of cups in reverse the ace of wands the nine of cups and the two of wands in reverse okay so this let's get a bigger picture let's get a bigger picture i'm not going to read yet let's do let's do this for the chronic energies because i really feel like whatever is here you're seeing the drama too hard this path is too hard you're just resting off the karmic energies you see exactly clearly what's happening you're like yeah whatever i see what's happening um you're being really fair with whatever you're just moving on passionately through any of these energies see this is why i'm thinking like you're not even giving a, a rat's a crap whatever about any of it you're going through a renewal right now a judgment you're making you know decisions based on your highest good right now for your own wishes so that your fulfillment and your manifestations can come true and where you've been stuck you're cleaning it up and you're like now nah, that's it and i made that decision to finally put my foot down i'm not contemplating energies anymore so capricorn you're really in a you're really at a high vibe here you're really choosing self let's take a look at this time for a nap you're just not dealing with karmic energy. It's like nothing can touch you. I feel like I want to label this Capricorn the untouchable goat. Like you're way up on that mountain, you know. You've got your footing. You're good. You're looking and working on your house. You're working on your family. Um, yeah, you'll be fair to the karmic energies. You're uh, Somebody may be coming forward and gift, gifting you something. You may have some unexpected income that's coming in. Um, you may get a promotion, you may get a, ra a small raise, you may get a small check in the mail, but there's a little bit of abundance that's starting to kind of come in that spirit is showing you of what you're manifesting here. Yeah, you're a mature woman, divine feminine here. Clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> you're cleaning up whatever this wealthy man, maybe throwing his money around and or maybe trying to take your money, whatever it is, it's, uh, you know, you whatever's happened in the community and around you you're not you're not you're cleaning up just old vibes people that are after your money people that are selfish people that are, have this type of selfish not that people have money are selfish or mean or anything i'm not saying that but there's something here in the community that you need to clean up that has something around poverty consciousness wealth consciousness something around the money situation so spirit is really saying here that you know you're renewing into this beautiful divine feminine place. You're really coming into your own. So these karmic energies are just not even bothering you here, Cap. What up with you? Let's see. Let's go a little deeper. Then we'll clarify with the tarot. Yeah, I'm seeing like wherever you're stuck, you just put your foot down. You're like, I'm not even going to contemplate this anymore. I'm back and forth. Back. I'm done with the back and forth. It's like you're cleaning up that back and forth energy. You're just getting very focused. Um... You're moving towards where there's like little bits of unexpected income, um, maybe manifestations of good things that are coming. You're moving forward onto this new passionate path. You're just, you're not even paying attention to karmic energies. You've left it in the dust cap. You left it in the dust. Let's take a look at this house in time for a nap. Yeah, this soulmate. Um, you might be looking for a soulmate. Clarify that. Um, you may have left a, a karmic or a twin in the in the mist or another soulmate, but you're looking at you know where things are mirroring you in your life with other soulmates, where uh, 
people in your home even, how to build a foundation. You're looking for your tribe is what I'm getting. You don't want anything in dramatic anymore. You're really done. You're like, here comes my tribe. I'm going to mirror that and I'm going to be what I want to mirror. So yeah, you may be getting a call from a soulmate. Um, but this is like, I feel spirit bringing in new, new people. And so that you can start seeing clearly through any of the dramatics that has happened in your life. Yeah, this is the end of karmic situations. And because of that, you're healing poverty consciousness. You're going to get a trail of new abundance that starts leading you out here. Look at this. Your, your relationship status is evolving to the next stage. You're healing the inner child. See, we saw that you're healing the inner child. That's that mature woman, the deep knowing that you're having, you're not dealing with this. Yeah, running from codependent uh, issues, fear of intimacy. This is that wealthy man. This was in the same thing, the karmic at the end. I feel this is this person that you were wanting who ran away from this. You're cleaning up that energy. You're not even partaking in that. This last column here for outcome, your person is thinking of you, Cap. All right, let's take a look here. What is this clarity of the drama? Things too hard, so you're taking a break, Capricorn. Yeah, you're giving yourself that self-love. I don't blame you. You're moving forward. You're putting an end. You're following the breadcrumb trail. A little, little breadcrumb right now, but just, you know, where things are leading you, where you haven't been able to walk away from. Yeah, look at this. You weren't able to maybe walk away from a divine masculine, from the emperor with control. Um, it failed. You've kind of swept it out, Caps, and you're like, it's done? It's... uh. You've cleaned it up, so you're moving on. Complete endings, new beginnings for you. A renewal. Whew, whew, Capricorn, I can feel the work that you've done. You got, look at this divine empress energy. Look at this, this is your wish. You're filling your own cups. You know a deep knowing. You're moving into the next level. You're cleaning up all the betrayal. You're having a renewal of self. You know that you've left this masculine here. Wow. Now this last one here is for the mask. I feel this masculine has been running from you. But I feel whatever has happened here, things are, have not moved on. It's been stuck. But there is definitely a, um, something that's nostalgic about the past, about making a decision now. Hmm. Something is happening here, guys, with this masculine energy. Yeah. Hasn't been honest about a relationship, planning for something, coming towards you. You may be having someone try to come, uh, Capricorn, now that you're like really releasing, you may be having someone from the past return, all right? Because in the, in the first part of the reading, this it was just that mature man. It's like they're feeling you move from uh, orphaned energy, poverty consciousness into abundant energy, and this person is being affected, completely being affected by this connection um and trying to plan to come forward yeah look at this they dropped the ball they've made the decision so something has happened here huh very very interesting very interesting okay capricorn so be aware that now that you've leveled up the person that you may have released is not be returning okay so you know your boundaries you're sitting in empress energy you know what's going on with that so don't you uh don't you fall back, right? Don't you fall back. All right. Think of your, we're going to do, pick a card. Pick a card. Think of your question. You can think of uh, yes or no for one, two, and three. You can pick three questions. Ask three yes or no questions. Or you can just ask one and then pick a card. So here we go. This is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising for March Spirit. All right. Go ahead and ask your question. And I will pick three. All right, this is number one, number two, and number three. Okay, if you guys like my deck, let me know down below. would love to hear if you like my deck. All right, let's take a look. I'm not reading reversals here, so oh, let's, do, <laughs> let's do this. Number one, if you picked number one, yes, for sure, your wishes are about to be fulfilled. If you pick this, everything that you wanted, it's coming, it's coming. So that is a definite yes. Number two, yes, you are being given, gifted something by the universe. You are getting something reciprocal that has been owed to you is what I'm feeling, that you've put the work in. And so now that energy is coming back. 
five of wands now what i'm getting with this is usually people say this is a fighting energy but it's also an energy of training and battlefield and learning so i'm feeling spirit is saying it's not a definite no there's still some work for you to do to train and to learn but it can definitely turn into a yes with some hard work all right capricorn that is your reading don't forget to like and subscribe if you like that reading and comment down below and i'm sending you so much love this march thanks guys bye